wonderful and good morning to you and welcome to the Wednesday edition of 35 Live. I'm Diane Silkey. Today you're going to meet a marvelous teacher, a master in the ancient art of Kriya Yoga. He is Swami Hariharananda. He's president of an ashram in India, a direct disciple of the renowned Yogananda, and a world traveler. Hariharananda, he, he will be discussing Kriya Yoga history, and it goes way, way back into ancient history and the techniques of Kriya Yoga as it relates to the American way of life. Swamiji is literate in all religions, has studied all major holy books, but he's not here to advocate any one religion, only ways in which we can grow closer to the one God. So please stay tuned to meet a beautiful and loving Swami Hariharananda. Welcome back to 35 Live. We have a very special guest with us today. His name is Swami Hariharananda Giri. He is from India. He is the master teacher of a technique called Kriya Yoga. And uh, this is a simple technique of yoga, one of many types of yoga. And he is here to discuss and later in the show to demonstrate. And a loving and wonderful, wonderful person. We're so happy to have you here today. Describe, Swamiji, what is yoga? Mother, there are 108 types of yoga. This is the ancient teaching, the yoga I am telling about Kriya Yoga today. There are Hatha Yoga and they are only taking good food, cheese, butter, mm -hmm. fish, meat. So for this they require to practice Hatha Yoga to keep their body flexible, beautiful, to get beautiful feature and to enjoy the world very nicely. Along this, if they practice Kriya Yoga, it is the ancient yoga that in each country makes a distinct contribution to world culture. America is spe has specialized in the industrial expansion, mm -hmm. German in mechanical science, mm -hmm. France in art, Italy in music, but India from time immemorial they are ever specialized in the science of soul, that is yoga. On that time they were teaching only formless. Krishna was not born on that time, Rama was not born on that time, even Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, only the teaching was yoga that is Ashtanga Yoga and Chaturanga Yoga. Kriya Yoga is a Chaturanga Yoga, that is Pratahar means within four minutes time, if they practice this technique within four minutes time, then all their mind, thought, intellect, ego, body sense and worldly sense will be free. So this, this is, is Pratahar. And then after Pratahar, Dharana means conception of God. After Dharana, it is Dhyana. Dhyana means to go beyond worldly sense and to merge in God, that is Samadhi stage. This is Kriya Yoga. Today I am telling that we are preaching the simultaneous development of body, mind, intellect and soul by the scientific technique of Kriya Yoga. Kriya Yoga is a scientific technique. It based on deep, long, scientific breath. It is not a religion though. Is this, is this the same as Hinduism? No, this is not Hinduism. No. This is non-sectarian. Non it's non-sectarian. Non-sectarian. It is a technique. I am telling. Mm -hmm. In Bible, Genesis said, the God made man and woman with his own image. And he breathed into the nostrils the breath of his life. Mm -hmm. And he became the living soul in the whole universe. Mm -hmm. So. The God himself is remaining in every human being. And God made man with his own image. This is the feature of God. Only human being is made, the human form is made for God only. Animal being, their spine is remaining parallel to the ground. So they cannot know God. They have brain, they have passion, anger, pride, everything. But they cannot get God realization. It is why God made 
and the main thing of life is the breath control. He is breathing. So if we control our breath, then within a short period, we can change our life force into radiant, all-accomplishing divine force, which in turn hastens our physical, mental, intellectual, and spiritual regeneration. Just I am taking inhalation one, and then I am bending. I am not going to tell the details technique, only I am demonstrating a little. Just I am taking inhalation. There are six centers. I am inhaling from the money center, which is the coccygeal center. I am inhaling. After that, I am bending my body like this. So, the whole power which is remaining below, just in the bottle, there is oil, this much oil. If I bend the bottle, automatically this whole oil will come on the top. Jesus said that you are born of the flesh, so you are after the flesh. You are only after money, sex and food. But you have to come up from the lower center to the upper center and gradually you will come to the top. Jesus said you are to be born from above through water and spirit. Our soul is remaining there. Soul is pulling inhalation. So with the breath control, we can change our disposition and we can perceive in every moment when you are earning money, you will feel God is earning money. Yes. When anybody is enjoying sexually, he will feel God is enjoying sexually. You are getting hunger, a dead man is not getting hunger. God is giving hunger to you, God is digesting food. So when you are taking food, you have to perceive God. By the practice of Kriya Yoga, you are bending your body. Right, and right. through that power, your whole body system inside the intestines, you have the big gland, liver. You are giving pressure over the liver in this way. Mm -hmm. And after that, you are stretching your leg in the front and you are bending your whole body and touching your head on the ground, keeping the head stiff. So, your both nostrils are made only to know God. When you will get the balance of air, then you will be able to know God. Until you cultivate the land and you chant or read or do anything, Mm -hmm. you will not get the success. So, by the practice of Kriya Yoga, you can turn your mind from the right hand side. All our thought, anger, mm -hmm. pride, avarice, greatness are coming from the right side of the right lobe of the human being, mm -hmm. from these sides. Mm -hmm. So, when we are bending this, the whole power is coming on the right hand side. We are talking from the right side, left side of our lobe, on the left lobe. We are talking, we can take decision, we can take judgment, we can get judgment, so we can transform our anger into love. We can control our all evils. Even many people, they are taking strong drugs, drugs and addiction. By the practice of this, they will get calmness, which is godliness, and automatically they will leave their bad habits and they will work in the nation, for the nation. Simply they are wasting. I am coming from the long distance. I was in India. I am 75 years old now. I am born in the year 1908. So I was there in India up to 74. Mm -hmm. I felt that in the Western people, people are getting everything. Their prosperity, peace, pleasures of senses, every happiness, tipped up condition. Every but material only happiness. material peace and exactly. material achievement, only eat, drink and be merry, they think. Mm -hmm. But eating, drinking and merrymaking is not possible until God is pulling inhalation. So I in need to ask you this question. People are, are watching and they're saying, but I breathe. I breathe all the time. I breathe when I sleep. I breathe when I walk. I breathe when I work. I breathe with, you know, when I talk. They, they, they feel that they are already breathing. How is, how is the technique of Kriya Yoga different than our breathing? I am telling about the breath. This yeah. is not the original bit. In our every natural breath, we are taking 20% oxygen. Only 20%? Only 20% of which 4% oxygen is going in the brain. It is why our brain is fertile. And 16% of the oxygen is going to purify the impure blood.
Mm -hmm. And that blood is transformed into hemoglobin. Hemo means 16 chemicals, potassium, sodium, magnesium, zinc, phosphorus, copper, sulfur, iron, etc. And globin means three liquid protein, albumin, globulin, fibrinogen. They are going through our body. So we are taking long, deep breath. When we sleep, on that time, we take long, deep breath. Like this, I am only uh, demonstrating. Mm -hmm. We are taking breath like that. When we sleep, on that time we take this type of breath, mm -hmm. long breath, for seven, eight hours. And that's on when that we time, rejuvenate. We get no anger, no pride, no avarice, no greediness, <laughs> no passion, no sorrow, nothing. We are only sleeping. And in the morning, when you are getting up, our power regenerates and rejuvenates, so we get fresh energy. Kriya Yoga is based on that type of inhalation. I am telling what, the, what is the meaning of Kriya Yoga. Kri means you do your work from morning till you go to bed, sleep. You are doing work, but you cannot do that work without Ya. Ya means soul, which is remaining inside the cranium, the soul that Jesus said, you are to born from above, your divine kingdom is within you. So this is Kriya. Any work you are doing, you will feel God is working whole day and night. That is your duty. You have to watch that he is doing work, he is earning money, he is talking without soul. If God doesn't pull in lesson, I cannot talk, I cannot see. When I am seeing, I will feel the power of God is seeing. Mm -hmm. When I am hearing, everyone should do it that you are not to bring God from the church, mosque or temple. The God is abiding everywhere. The definition of God is all-pervading, omnipresent, omniscient, omnipotent. So, if you cultivate your land, you can get harvest. So our spine is blocked. Kundalini Shakti, Pindang Kundalini Shakti. Mm -hmm. Our whole body is full of delusion, illusion and error. Our five sense organs is our enemy, always keeping us in the extrovert stage in the material world, so you forget the truth. The power of God is working through me, or power of God is working through every human body. So if they practice it, then they are in every step of their life, they can perceive it. Only the real realized Kriya Jogi, those who have penetrated behind the veil of nature's splendors, and those who have penetrated behind the veil of all religions and they can really perceive the truth and knowledge, consciousness, super consciousness, cosmic consciousness and wisdom. Through that they can infuse the power to the public, to all persons. Only the desire is required. And if they have desire, then within four minutes time, they will get divine sound, divine light, divine vibration. We're going to find out more about that I four have mi five minutes. We have, we have to break for a commercial now. And we'll be back with Swami Hari Harananda, Swami G, thank you. And when we, when we return, we're going to get that four or five minute technique, which is all you will need to become more peaceful and in tune uh, with the one God and the one energy that is everywhere. So please stay tuned. And welcome back to 35 Live. Our guest is Swami Hari Harinanda Giri. He is president of an ashram in India uh, and one of the greatest teachers in the world in a technique called Kriya Yoga. And this technique is four or five minutes, maybe less, if you've really mastered it. And it is not a religious technique, but a technique to tune your body to uh, the energy that there is in the world that is peaceful and will make us feel good. And Swamiji, you must demonstrate for us how easy it is. We've been we've been talking kind of philosophically about how the technique works. Now, how do, how does it begin? How does one prepare for Kriya Yoga? Yes, go ahead. Yes, go ahead. Demonstrate, please. First, I am telling. This is the technique which you have to learn by the side or by the presence of Guru. 
Uh-huh. That is Guru is a soul. Who is invisible body? Who is visible body? Mm-hmm. So invisible body is doing every work, but a specialization of Kriya Yoga. Those who have specialized in Kriya Yoga, they can teach it. But which I am demonstrating, I am not demonstrating the real technique because that cannot be taught in the open market. I see. <laughs> oh, <laughs> even in the radio. Still, I am telling something about it. The posture. First, we are sitting with our spine straight. That the head will not go back. We are giving pressure over the thyroid. So we're pulling the spine straight. And pulling the spine straight. Mm-hmm. The coccygeal, sacral, lumbar, uh-huh. dorsal, cervical, medulla, right. and the fontanelle are there. We are keeping the straight. Then we are taking deep inhalation, keeping our tongue in proper order. Also keeping the wrinkles in the proper place because <laughs> the power of God is remaining inside yeah. the cranium so we have to come mm-hmm. all our thoughts should bring and we should pray God that he will give me give the people sufficient extreme huge money and they can earn sufficient money so they will <laughs> inhale and hold and they will sit in this posture uh-huh. Well, forgive me if I don't follow you at this point. Yes. <laughs> then they will bend their body and they will touch their head on the ground you like touch this. Touch your head on the ground. Yeah. So all the powers power are coming from the lower center to the upper center. Uh-huh. Our brain is the vital point, mm-hmm. but the dead man has brain. Dead man cannot bend. Mm-hmm. The most vital point is our soul. Mm-hmm. From the soul we are earning money. So the whole power, the blood circulation is also coming mm-hmm. on the top. We have three bodies, gross, astral and causal body. Mm-hmm. For the causal body, from the causal body you will get light. From the astral body you will get divine sound. Again, for the second center, the pleasures of senses, sixth center, you are also to magnetize it. You will never get any disease, no impotency. Mm-hmm. Even female will never get female disease. So you will inhale, hold, and bend endocrine so gland. This is uh, this is preventive medicine. Yes, this is ah. this is prevention is better than cure. Yes, one yes. ounce of practice is far better than tons of theories. Endocrine gland of the female are remaining in the womb, mm-hmm. so they are giving pressure on the endocrine gland, and automatically. And does it activate that and gland? And the current gland activates, it will Act- give estrogen and progesterone secretion. Oh. They will get beautiful water, greasy water in their body, mm-hmm. so they will get beautiful lustrous body. Mm-hmm. Even during the time of pregnancy in the bag where the baby is remaining sufficient over, water will remain. Mm-hmm. So it will not be miscarried. Ah. Many people, they are getting even yesterday one person has gone, he, she lost her fourth child, mm-hmm. in, miscarried in three months, four months. Mm-hmm. And he, she was practicing, she has given a child in this year, in the first January. Mm-hmm. So this is the second center. Mm-hmm. Third center is the food center. We are giving pressure and after that... And again we're you're putting pressure on another part of the spine the, by moving the spine. this way. On the spine, mm-hmm. there are livers. From the livers, we are getting bile. From the pancreas, we are getting insulin. And we have many other defects, diseases, adrenal mm-hmm. gland. Many mm-hmm. people, they are getting heartburn, gastritis, spondylitis, mm-hmm. arthritis. So all that will di- dis- disappear. This is the first technique. They will blow it in seven times. And mm-hmm. every moment, they will pray God. After that, they will sit like this on that left hill and will give pressure on the ascending colon like that uh-huh. and they, they will keep their tongue that will be directed by me how to take it that is hidden and after that they will take inhalation breath and spread stretch the leg in the front then will bend their whole body mm-hmm. lungs because mm-hmm. the lungs disease tuberculosis germ is coming on the shoulder and right. the neck so they are touching it. Our brain power is remaining on the toe. Mm-hmm. Our eyesight is remaining here. Mm-hmm. Also, the heart is there. Then they are bending whole body, keeping the head stiff. So our both nostrils are covered with cattle. That will be free. You will never get pleurisis, susceptibility. 
In this way, we are giving pressure, and after that, again, we are giving pressure on the liver. Now, we must remind our viewers that this because will not happen through one session, one four or five minute session, that all of their ills will be taken away. It takes only 10 minutes time But to it over. takes each day. And each body day. becomes very beautiful. Yeah. The prevention is better than cure. Yeah. And you will get, this is a panacea. As the penicillin cures all the diseases, similarly, they are also sitting on the left heel like that. And so you balance the other side the of the other body. Side. Yeah. So I in see. this way, again, they are sitting on the both hips. So when they will take, then we'll twist the technique until the body is purified, the whole spine is purif purified, mm -hmm. we cannot teach this. Mm -hmm. and they cannot get the vibration. The whole spine is covered with delusion, illusion and error. Yes. Even five sense organs are enemy. Mm -hmm. We are purifying it. Within four minutes, three minutes time, the whole power will come up on the top. And I am telling, as the aeroplane is carrying so many passengers with the heavy body of aeroplane yes. is going up, taking up by the pilot and it is quickly coming up and floating in and the, the body, vacuum. The and body going feels is lighter. Not body floating like this. No, I am no, telling no. Yes. the whole ten truth of body, that is soul, that will come up. It will Not, feel, feel lighter. You will feel immediately the divine feel sound, lighter. light, vibration. Whenever I will yeah. touch your head, you will say, yes, I am getting vibration. I, am, I will touch your nose. You will say, yes, I will touch your lip, tit, tongue. Mm -hmm. Even I am touching the whole face of the male person. Mm -hmm. Until they will say, yes, I am getting vibration, I do not stop. They are, surely they will get in the neck, in the chest, mm -hmm. in the arms. There are 50 body parts. Mm -hmm. I am to purify 50 body parts. And by the purification of the body, I am touching everywhere. I am mm -hmm. asking whether you are getting vibration here, right. whether you are getting vibration on the lip, on the feet, on the toe. When they will say yes, then I will worship that body because the power of God is there. I have purified the body as Jesus is to worship the body of his disciples. Similarly, I wash, wash their feet and then I teach the technique. And, and bringing the body and the spirit together. Yes, together. That is and and we have to really, I know that your technique looked very easy. This was just a small It is very thing. easy. There is yeah. no hardship. And the breathing goes along with it. Yes. And we've run out of time. We require 5,000 cc oxygen daily. Mm -hmm. But we are not getting it. Yeah, By we need to breathe, clear yoga, breathing more. We are taking more breath. And through this our body will be lustrous. You see my body. I am 75. Oh, you're wonderful. I'm so, whole day I am working. I am working 16, 17 hours a day. And I don't feel tired. So I am telling this is scientific technique because the, it depends upon long, deep breath. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Swamiji. I'm sorry we're out of time. This has been fascinating. Now, if you're interested in finding out more about the technique of Kriya Yoga, I know I'm mispronouncing it, from Swami Hariharananda Giri from India. He's going to be speaking tonight at the Knowles Chapel in Rollins College at 7.30. And we'll have information here at the station if you uh, want to know more about that. But that seems simple enough. Be there at 7.30. And he will be speaking, lecturing, and teaching this technique.